Oh, look at her. Today is gonna finally be the day that we confess our love. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've been working out for months to get this super jacked body. She's gonna love me. I look basically like a jock. Uh, dude, no you don't. You might be buff now, but your style is lame. And you still look like a nerd in the face. Unlike me, I have been getting myself to look really, really cute. So she's gonna fall for me and not you at all. Oh, there's something wrong with my face, okay? At least my hair isn't stupid and dirty like yours. Dude, you wanna go? Nah, let's just leave it up to her to decide. Uh, yeah, girl. I think these guys are talking about me, but I'm not too sure. I was just about to go home. And, uh, yeah, it's looking a little weird. So who's gonna be first to talk to her? Uh, definitely me. I deserve it. What? Why do you deserve to talk to her more than me? Uh, because I'm handsomer than you and I have a better grade than you. This has nothing to do with school. This is about love. Love schmove. Me first, bub. <gasps> How dare you? What kind of friend are you? Steal your brother's girl. Oh, I gotta call you back. One of them just walked up to me. Hey, can I help you? Is everything okay? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh yeah, everything is okay. Um, well, I I've been wanting to, to talk to you for a, a long time and, uh, and... And what? Are you okay? What did you want to say to me? This kid is kind of creeping me out. Well, um, I just wanted to say that you, you should go out with me. That's what he was going to say. I've liked you for a very long time and I think that we should be together. It's perfect. You're super pretty and I'm super handsome and smart. What? I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say me, not him. Oh, uh, guys, I appreciate the offer from both of you, but I actually don't want to date anybody. Sorry. Yeah, I, um, just not interested. Huh? But, but look, I, I've been working out for months just to get this type of build because I know a girl like you needs a strong man in her life. No, no, I'm good. No, thank you. Uh, this is getting a little scary, guys. See, you're scaring her away. Shut up, you nerd. No, you shut up. All right. Well, how about everybody just leave me alone? My answer is no, and it's not going to change. I'm going to go home now. See ya. Wait, please. I promise you, I'm a super nice guy and I'm really smart and I can help you with all your homework and I will buy you whatever you want. My dad is actually really rich. I'll give you a lot of money. Dude, what in the world are you even saying? No, I said no and I meant no, okay? And I'm I'm not taking my answer back. It's no to the both of you. What? Why? I don't even know you guys. We've never even talked before today. And you think the first thing you should say to me is to ask me out? You guys are weird. Weird. Weird? Yes, you're weird, okay? So leave me alone and stop following me around. It's getting creepy. I wouldn't want to have to get you guys into any trouble. So just listen to me and back off, creeps. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, we'll leave you alone, all right. <laughs> uh, big misunderstanding. Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, I gotta get out of this school. It is so late. What's wrong with those guys, huh? A couple of weirdos. Did you hear that? She said that we're, we're weird. She's bullying us. Bullying? Are you sure? I think maybe we just creeped her out a little bit, which is all your fault, by the way. You barged into our conversation. You broke the deal. I did not. She said that we were weird. That's it. And why does she think it's our first time talking today, huh? We've talked to her every day since the beginning of the school year. We've helped her with her homework before. Every time she comes into the classroom, we say hi. And yet she doesn't even remember us. Yeah, she treats us like we're nobody's around here. She didn't even let me finish what I had to say before she so rudely cut me off. How is that even right? It's not fair. We put in all of this work to look this good. Exactly. And it's not going to go to waste. Oh, don't you worry. I have a plan. A plan? What kind of plan? What can we do? I mean, she did say no and you kind of can't change her answer for her. I'm not going to change her answer. She's going to change her answer. So what do you mean? I mean, what else could you do? She already said no. What kind of plan are you scheming? Listen, she thinks that we're nobodies because she doesn't know us well enough. So we just gotta force the opportunity for her to get to know us. Don't you just get where I'm going with this? Uh, I guess so. But how do we force the opportunity for her to get to know us? I mean, we've been going to the same school for almost three years now. You leave that part to me. Come on, let's get out of here. We gotta be quick. Oh, uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, uh, the show is getting kind of boring. I'm feeling snackish. I should go make something to eat. Let's see see what to make what to eat i'll probably just have a quick snack nothing too heavy wouldn't want to get too full before going to bed all right let's see if there's any snacks in here i would want i'm getting really hungry now all right uh, is she home check look at the window
No. Uh, I don't want to look in the window. What if she sees me? How about you look? Uh, am I the only one who can do something around here? You're standing right by the window. Just look and see if she's in there. <laughs> Fine. This is really sketch. <gasps> yeah, she's in there. She's in there. Okay. Uh, so what now? What do you mean? What now, you idiot? Now we go on with a plan. Just follow my lead. Is the van outside or what? Yeah, I brought a van. Oh, okay, now what? Good, good. Follow me over here. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. I have a feeling. What the heck? Is there a dog back here? Hello? Huh, guess there's nobody. Thought I heard something. Anyways, I don't really want nothing to eat anymore. And what the? Is that my doorbell? Who would be here this late at night? What a weird time to pop in and visit. Okay, just keep ringing and knocking on the door until she comes. And then as soon as she does, put her in the van. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. We're already in too deep. We're gonna finish this out. Are you? I guess. Man up. She deserves this, okay? We need our opportunity for her to get to know us so she can fall in love. Now, keep knocking. Just a minute. I'm on my way. Oh, so impatient people are these days. Hello? Uh, anybody? What the? What are you doing here? Hey, mama. <gasps> get in the van. Yeah, get in the van. Now. What the? I'm not going anywhere with you. Wait, aren't you those nerds from school? Why are you at my house? Did you follow me? The nerds? Oh, they're gonna hurt my feelings. We have names, you know. No, I don't know, and I don't care to know. Leave me alone and go away. You see? You see this treatment? This is exactly why we're gonna do this to you. Timothy, do it. I'm real sorry about this, girl. Do what? Good job, Timothy. Now take her to the van. Hey, put me down. Uh, I can't. I have to take you to the van now. Come on. Come on. We don't got all day. Hurry before she screams. Oh, I'm coming. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Come on. Let's go. Okay, everybody. Buckle in. We're on for a fun ride. Oh, boy. Now I'm kind of excited. Guys, let me out of this van now. No can do, honey. Not until you fall in love with one of us. What? Tell me where you're taking me. Tell me now. I can't. I don't know where we're going. You better stop talking so much, sweetheart. Or I'm going to have him tip your mouth up. You're not going to do anything. You're going to tell me where we're going and why you're doing this. Oh, man. Please don't say anything else. You really will make me do it. That's it. Tip her mouth. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> ah, much better. Peace and quiet. All right, we're here. Everyone out. Uh, it's finally nice to really have the time to get to know you, you know, sweetheart. Now, uh, we're going to tell you about ourselves, and then you're going to tell us which one you like better and which one you're going to marry and have babies with in the future, okay? <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> Well, uh, it looks like you're gonna do it anyways, because I have no idea what you're saying. So, which one of us is gonna go first? Uh, probably you this time, since I kind of ruined your opportunity last time. It's not like we don't have all of eternity now out here. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, I'll go first. Um, uh, here goes nothing. Well, I guess to start off with, <laughs> my name's Timothy. I'm in the 11th grade, just like you are. And we have, uh, three classes together out of the whole day. So, I see you quite often, and I really like your hair and the way you smell. Um, I've even helped you with your homework a few times. Hey, if you Remember that? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. Anyways, uh, I like crossword puzzles, uh, video games, and long walks on the beach. And I love your face. It's so pretty, especially those juicy lips. <laughs> no, don't cry, sweetheart. Look, we're only doing this because we really want to get the chance to know you, okay? Now, you've always ignored us at school, and, and that's not cool. So, we just needed to force this on you. So you would actually take the time to get to know our true heart. And we'll see which one of us is your perfect match. So, so I will start. I have been working out for about three months now, and it's actually quite fun. And also, <laughs> oh, should we take the tape off of her mouth? Um, all right, hurry up and finish your story, and then I'll take the tape off of her mouth, and she can tell me what she thinks about you. Um, okay. Well, basically, uh, I want to marry you uh, as soon as possible, and maybe have two to three to four to five, six, seven, eight, or nine kids. And uh, I mean, really, it's up to you how many you want. And also, I would like to get married in Paris. So, all right, take the tape off her mouth, see what she thinks about you. All right. I'm so excited. All right, dearie. <laughs> Tape's off. What'd you think? Do you, do you like me? Are you in love just as much as I am? Somebody help me! They're kidnapping me in the woods! Ah, uh, put the tape back on her mouth. She's trying to get away from us. Uh, yes, sir. I'll do it right now. Sorry, hon, but you've got to learn to be quiet. That's right. Hurry up and tape her back up. It's my turn to talk. Okay, tape's back on. Your turn. Are you ready for this, hon? <laughs> Whatever that means, I'll take it as a yes. 
So my name is Edward and I am a junior in 11th grade. Um, I have all straight A's and I've been working out for six months and I'm super, super jacked. Just like a football player. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have a scholarship to every college that I've ever wanted to go to. And um, my parents are pretty wealthy. Um, hey, no fair. You said no mentioning money. My parents are rich too, by the way. Shh, shh, my turn. I didn't interrupt you. Anyways, uh, I would like to get married probably on an island somewhere. And I would like to have maybe 13 children. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, if you were my girlfriend and then eventually my wife, I would spoil you and give you whatever you want. Doesn't that sound so much more better than being with him? A guy who likes to uh, take walks on the beach? Dude, it's not a competition. Oh, yes, it is. All right. Um, now that we told you a little bit about ourselves, what do you think? Either one of us is somebody you want to marry? Go ahead and tell him it's me or me. I I'm a good choice too. <laughs> All right, she can't answer. <laughs> I'll take the tape off. Now that your tape is off, you can tell us how you truly feel and which one of us you would like to marry. But just know that if you scream or even try to escape, Timothy here will put an end to you, okay? Now, tell us what you are thinking. I think that I hate the both of you with every fiber in my being and with every feeling in my gut. You two are going to pay for this and nobody is gonna wanna marry you. No one. This is not how you get girls, okay? I already rejected you and you wouldn't take no for an answer and now you expect kidnapping me that's in my mouth and tying me up is the answer here are you out of your mind i thought you two were nerds no nerds are smart you two are straight up idiots huh she's a lot meaner than i thought she was yeah i thought she was sweeter and kinder than this hmm i'm starting to not like her yeah me too i guess uh, she wasn't the kind of girl i thought she was really You're starting to hate me i i know i am yeah i kind of am starting to hate you how could you say all these mean things about us maybe if i annoy them so much to let me go well um uh, i say all those mean things about you because they're true yeah you guys are weird stinky creepy ugly stupid psycho boys who never will get married and, and and your grades aren't even all that good so boom and all that working out you did was for nothing because you guys still look nerdy wow so hurtful <gasps> is it axe time not quite yet axe time look if you guys are starting to hate me, clearly the relationship between us would not work out. So how about you just let me go, huh? Maybe you can find a new girl to date later on. Let you go? Oh no, we're not gonna let you go. We can't do that, you see? Now you may think that we're stupid, but I'm not that dumb. If we let you go now, you're just gonna run to the police. You're gonna run to the police and try to get us thrown in jail because technically this is illegal. And I don't have a proper argument to defend myself in court. So you're not going anywhere no matter how annoying you get. Yeah, <laughs> you'll die before we let you go now let's start over and how about you tell us some stuff about you you know because we don't really know you that well either oh uh, you're not gonna let me go look i'm not gonna call the police man I, I i have no reason to this happens all the time it's a big misunderstanding and mix up you just let me go promise you no police are gonna be involved oh man you must really think we're that dumb yeah I'm not believing it sweetheart get to yapping about yourself i'm listening look we'll even sit down for you go on we're listening and actually try to tell us about the real you, okay? Or else you get the ax. Got that? Uh-huh. Uh I got that. Okay, you want to know about me? Fine. I'm really loud, really stinky at home, and I'm rude. I don't like anybody. I hate everybody. I never want to get married. I never want to have kids. I don't even want to have a boyfriend, okay? Nothing. I just want to sit home, get a bunch of animals, and eat junk food all day. That's what I like, and that's what I do. What are my hobbies? Scrolling on my phone. Go Going to school and going to bed. Yeesh, you gotta get out of the house more, lady. Yeah, besides, we know you're lying. Come on, tell us a little bit about yourself for real. Unless you want things to get dangerous. That's the truth, I'm telling you. That's the kind of girl I am. Can't you just realize when a girl's telling you the truth? Exactly, we can. That's how we know you're lying. Tell us some good stuff about you, huh? We all have our negatives, don't we? Yeah, I know I do, huh? Fine, what do I like? I like to cook snacks, um, dinners. I like to bake. I like to watch movies, okay? I really don't want any kids and I really don't want to date anybody. I've been through a lot of serious, serious, scary relationships in my day and I am so tired of it. If I were to get in a relationship with either one of you, it would take the cake in the number one spot as the creepiest relationship of my life. You want to know what kind of guys I like? <gasps> yes, tell us, tell us. I could become anything you ever could dream of, sweetheart. Okay. I like guys who leave me alone. That's the kind of guys I like. Can you become someone like that? Because right now you're doing an awful
awful job at it. And that's why I hate you so, so much. I like the guys who don't want anything to do with me. Yeah, if I reject them and they really leave me alone, I'll chase after him extra hard. Times 10 until he's mine. That's the kind of guys I like, okay? I like jerks who ignore me. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh my gosh. Are they actually believing that? Yes, come on. Did you hear that, Timothy? She likes guys who leave her alone. Of course. Why wouldn't somebody as popular as her like jerky jocks? It's everywhere we go. All the popular girls like the mean guys. That's what we're doing wrong. We didn't need to be strong or nice or smart. We needed to be mean. Don't you see? Yeah, I see. I get it now. It makes so much sense. That's the kind of man she wants. No wonder she's so mean to us. Huh, you're right. I forgot. God, she was that mean. Hmm, okay, how about this? We make her apologize, and then we let her go, and we never talk to her again until she starts chasing us to the point where she wants to date us. Yeah, that's just her type of guy. Oh, this is gonna be fun. She'll be crawling back to us by tomorrow morning. Sure is. All right, let's do this. You gotta act like you don't like her at all, okay? Be completely disinterested, and then untie her and, and let her go. Sounds good to me. Let's do this. Time to win our dream, girl. I'm gonna be so much meaner than you. No, I'm gonna be so much more non-caring than you. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. I'll get to her first. All right, ugly girl. <laughs> yeah, we finished talking, and after everything you've told us, you're not our type. Yep, we have zero interest in you at all. Honestly, you are just not the girl for me. You know what they say, plenty of uh, fish in the sea. You can always find somebody else to date, you know? Just not me and not me. Oh, wait, you mean that? Oh, yeah, we mean it 100%. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna cut off your ropes. That's how much we mean it. Wait, you're gonna let me go? That's how bad you don't want me anymore? That's right. Go on, Timothy. Cut her out of those ropes. Coming right up. Whoa, I can't believe you're actually letting me go. Yep, that's right. Well, one more thing before we let you go all the way. Uh, what? Well, you said some rude things to us today, and we don't want to have to think about you anymore after this night. So all we need you to do is apologize for all the rude stuff you said to us. Yeah, say you didn't mean it, and then you'll never see us again. Um, okay. I didn't mean any of that stuff I said. You guys are, uh, really cool. And the more you ignore me, the more handsome you turn out to look. Ha, Timothy, it's working. I know, I know. She's falling for us. We might get to marry her. Now scram. Get out of here, ugly rat girl. Yeah, we don't want to look at your face anymore. Oh, well, if you say so, I'm out of here. Goodbye. I'll borrow this van. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it worked. Yo, those are the stupidest nerds I've ever seen. They actually believe that dumb story about boys? Oh my my goodness, that's it. <sighs> Time to make this right. They are such idiots. They're gonna be so shocked to find out that all of that was a lie. I'm going straight to the police station and then they're going straight to jail. Okay, I'm here. Time to get out and tell the police exactly what just happened to me. Those stupid idiot nerds. Oh, you're going to prison for life now, buddy. That's right, I'm snitching. Oh yeah. Uh-huh, she's gonna fall in love with us. Oh, uh -huh. we're handsome. We're so smart. She fell for it. She's our girl. Oh yeah, I can't wait till she comes back and starts begging for my love. You, she's gonna be begging me, baby. Check me out. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm so much more handsome than you. Oh, please. You would never got this far without me. Be nice. Uh-oh. Uh dude. Huh? You done celebrating already? Not me. Dude, we got trouble on our hands. The cops are here. Wait, what? She tricked us. No. She called the cops on us. Officer, don't shoot. Please, we're sorry. We didn't know. It was an, it was an accident. I swear. I've never done this before. <laughs>